In this video, we're going to show you how to download all the teams and photos for the event, plus show you some tricks in the game scoring screen that will help you speed up your scoring and change the colors of the teams very quickly. First thing you want to do is go to Web Sport Updates, and let's get the latest update. Uh, and if you go to the bottom of the page here, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. Okay, you'll see there's some downloads here for your particular event. Um, if you already have the latest update, you don't have to download this one. And you don't want to download any of these updates if you have stats already. Uh, this is only for the first time or if you want to clear everything out. So click this first one. This will download a self-extracting program. And you'll be able to download. Just hit the Run button here, and it will download and install on your computer. You just hit Uncompress after the, um, the program is downloaded. Okay, so once you have that going, start up the basketball program again. And let's go and get some of the um, sandbox games we created here. Click on the cloud drive, scroll all the way to the right, there's a couple sandbox games. The first game uh, is an ACC versus Mountain West, so you can highlight both of these games and just hit download to score. Now these are sandbox games, so these are ones you could play around with try with the stat broadcaster sample game and make sure everything's working without affecting any of the player's stats okay so we're going to start off we're in the uh, ACC that's the visiting team so remember as the events are being uh, scored go to the, the schedule if you want to go to the website uh, you can look at the website here schedule or if you have any other schedule um, you just want to go to the visiting team first open up the visitors Okay, so in this case I'm going to open up ACC, and then I'm going to go to the game screen. I highlight the game that we're going to be scoring today and hit the live screen. Usually it takes you right in. If it asks you a question about using the game uh, that was set up on the scheduler, you just hit yes to that. Okay, so let me minimize this other screen here. And this is how the game is going to start off. Uh, we're ready to score. Now we didn't set any uniform num colors yet. So what you could do right here on the screen before you put any players into the game, you could just click on the box and set the actual uniform color for that team. If they're going to be white, okay, we have the ability now in the program where first set their main color. This is the color that they're going to be if they're the visiting team. Okay, and then the home team, you could just click and set it to white. And you get a question if you want to set the player numbers to white. I would say say yes to that. It should help you scoring. If you don't like the color, you can go back into preferences here and then go in their display. And then you could choose to allow white text, turn that off again, and then you'll be able to use black text. But if you're playing black against the white team, um, that's going to be hard. If it's a different color, you might be able to use black text and it won't affect you too much. Okay, so now you want to do is just add some players into the game. And I was playing around with this so you may get a message if you're using the um, sandbox games. If there were stats, you may get a message that you have to clear them. Okay, so now these guys are in the game here now. And I'm going to show you some options here for score. And this is the standard score. And if you go to preferences, and this is display slash scoring modes. And this is uh, scoring option number six, where you have shot, charts, stats, and photos. Okay, with this scoring option, you, you could hit... Uh, made, the spot on the floor, the player, prompt for an assist, you could hit the spot on the floor, miss, and then the player, okay, and then choose got the rebound. With a mouse now you can go into autocomplete, and I have this option turned on here, left for made and right for miss. So I could use the left button, so if this is off, and I click on the floor with the left button, I get that, and the right button, I get nothing. Now, if you want to clear, if you have some stuff selected and you just want to clear it, you could hit the right mouse button, that'll clear it. And you'll see you'll be able to start over entering an event again. So if you have a turnover, pick tier, okay, you can undo it. Um, but if you have a pop-up, like if you have a steal and you don't know what you want to put here, you want to clear this, you could just right-click your mouse anywhere on the, um, on the court and it'll clear what's ever up there. So usually you kind of have a shot or something uh, and you want to clear that. Um, you can undo it uh, or if there's a click on the floor you could right click and clear it. But if you have the mouse for made and miss on, if you right click 
Okay, it'll choose miss. So I'm going to go and turn that option on. Okay, so if I hit right click, I'm going to hit miss. Now the next right click is going to clear. If it, well, not for miss. If I'm on made and I right click, it'll clear it. If I click a player and right click, it'll clear. But if I hit miss, I can keep right clicking if I want to move the location. And then just click the number and I save myself the, the step of having to hit one extra button to enter the numbers. Okay, so remember left button for made, right button for clear, and then miss. Okay, so you might want to practice with this a little bit and see what you feel comfortable with. Another option you could set on if you're really struggling uh, to get the scores in here, I think this is the fastest way with the right and left button, but you could also go into the preferences and choose the option here for just scores, stats, and photos. Okay, and what that's going to do is it's going to give you the option to choose a three made, two made, or a three missed, and a two missed. And then the other options are going to be at the bottom of the court. So if someone makes a three-pointer, I can hit the number three-point made. Assist. I don't have to click on the floor at all. Okay, if it's a two-point miss, I hit the player the number, and then I can choose rebound. Okay, um, again, so this is pretty straightforward method. If you have to clear it, you can right-click if there's, if there's no rebound. If it's a team rebound, okay, and a missed shot, you can hit the T. Okay, you can still click on the floor if you want to in this mode. It gives you the ability to click on the floor and click miss and then whatever. Um, so, you know, you have the option to enter the shot too. Okay, but you don't get the option to use the putbacks. So, you know, that feature is missing in this scoring mode. So, if there's a missed shot, miss two, and there's a putback, you have to click rebound and then, you know, made or missed and then the number, you know, for the player. So that's how you're going to have to score if you want to use this feature. Um, if you're going to make any changes to these features, don't maximize or stretch the screen first because it won't keep it right. You know, these things may pop up and down uh, from the original location they were in. So do all this setting before you hit the maximize button here. Okay, um, so that's a good quick overview. Just uh, another show you how to start transmitting with stat broadcast we're gonna make sure that this is uh, in XML local file XML mode and we're gonna hit post online webcast to start the game and then we're gonna go and open up the stat broadcast page so we could see what's happening in stat broadcast I'm gonna move this out of the way a little bit so we could just see some of it and we'll go through just a couple scoring events here. You can minimize this stat page or move it out of your way. Uh, I like to minimize it, but if you want to make the screen bigger now, you can click on here and then you can adjust it. Okay. And so, uh, here we make a shot. Three point made. Assist. See the shots going up here. Miss jumper. Okay, you see that here. Rebound. Okay, it's very quick. Made a made basket. So he's going to have to pull up to two. Okay, assist, and, and that's it. So you have a lot of flexibility. With foul shots now, if it's a three-point shot they're taking, I believe they're giving them two free throws. So make sure it's on two, and then, you know, you click who takes the foul shot, and then you click made or missed, and the last one will ask you for a rebound if they miss it. If it's a one-point, uh, one-shot opportunity, just hit the one. So if they miss it, you'll get the rebound prompt, and that keeps you scoring quicker. And, uh, you know, I forgot to turn the, the clock on here, but uh, so th there's a good quick overview on how to use these extra features to help you score. And remember the colors, uh, you just, if you have players in the game now, if you single click, you're going to get the sub option and you can just put four for one. I, I can go put four and for two here and you can click again and then it'll clear or you can click the turbo stats thing at the top. That's after you enter players in the game. If you want to get to the color again, you got to double click. And then you can get to the color box and you can change the color. Okay, up here. It was the same color. Okay? I'll ask you if you want to set it as a default color. You could say yes. Okay, so one last thing to remember. When the game's over, okay, you make your last basket. Get to, the team gets to 21. Um, now, what you want to do is remember to hit the webcast button or pull up the, the webcaster by looking at the basketball icon at the bottom. 
if you hit webcast it'll pop up to the top and then what you want to do is hit this end game button here okay and that'll finalize everything and it'll say final now up on the stat broadcast and then you can hit box web uh, we're going to change things up a little bit we're going to have player photos set as jpg and team logos are going to be none and the first video we had it the opposite but we're going to switch that make sure you're in 2019 and they've got the right game number okay and then you just hit create box score and it'll ask you if you want to save it you hit yes it'll do its update and that's it now you can close out of this and stop the webcasting